All right, hey guys. So I wanted to go over how to run Excel macros without actually opening the uh, Excel file. Um, these can be done through scripts and actually you kind of have to open it, but it gets done within the code. And so um, I've got a Visual Basic script right here. Essentially all it does is creates an Excel application instance then it opens a workbook within that application instance. It runs, this is the this is the key right here, it runs the show GUI subroutine. It then closes the workbook and passing it true is uh, save changes. So I do want to save the changes. Uh, if you didn't, it would just be false. Then exiting the Excel application, doing some cleanup and writing to terminal. And so this is a very simple script. I use it a lot uh, with very little variation. I usually just change the uh, file path and the um, subroutine name that I want to call. Uh, but it's super simple. Uh, it opens up headless. So you don't actually see it, it opening. Uh, it, you could run into some issues. Um, and so like I have, if you could check. If, if it gets caught and uh, or airs out or something while it's open, you're going to have an instance of Excel just keep opening in here. So just make sure you go ahead and clean that up if you do. Um, the actual macro that I'm going to be using today is essentially all it is is entering an ID. One, one two, two. Um, making the video. Okay. And then it adds it in and then closes it out and saves it. So that's that's what this does. And so why is it useful? So if I wanted to put this on, so you, you can make the uh, the script very easily by like doing a, a text file, a new text file, and just naming it like script.vbs. Um, and you can open it with a text editor. I use uh, Visual Studio's code. Um, so here's mine. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this. I'm going to copy it onto my desktop. And I'm going to run it. And it, as you can see, it d didn't actually open Excel. It doesn't look like it's open. If I go into the task manager, you can see here that Excel does have an instance open um, called task tracker. So it is actually open, it's just hidden. I'm gonna go ahead and do 1120, I think was the last one. So, oh no, 22, so 23. And then we'll do um, finish the video. I'm very creative. Uh, submit. And we get this. So I wrote it to the host. And so it'll pop up as like a message box. But if you were running it off of a command line interface, uh, you'd see that in the terminal. So we just hit OK. Now, if I wanted to go in and just see what the changes were, it added it in. And so this um, VS Code, let's see, this script is awesome because uh, it allows for very simple things you to execute simple um, subroutines without actually like having to go in. I do this a lot for clients that say they want to take data from Excel maybe and they want to initiate like a transfer into different. So like each row out of an Excel file would be transferred over to a Word template and then maybe emailed out. And so they don't want to go into Excel, hit a button, that says run, then it pulls up a bunch of other shit. No, this this is a simple way to just have a button or a script and it executes it all. Very little user input. You could, ha you could have different GUIs that set up for user input, so it's sort of like an application. Um, there's a lot you can do with this, but um, this is the most simplest approach, running a macro from a script file. So. Um, I'm just leaving this up. So if you guys need any, like to copy this down, you have a ample amount of time to do it, but please, if you have any other questions, um, if you did want to run this through visual, uh, studios, there is a, so if you go start debugging, 
look up a script for. I use VS Code Runner. Um, I actually have it installed right now, and a shortcut is Control Alt N. So if I wanted to um, run this right here from Visual Studios, Control Alt N, um, and it's giving me some issue now. But um, <laughs> yeah, either way, it works perfectly from just the script, and you can do it one one two four. We're done. All right. So yeah, please, guys, if you have any questions on this script or uh, it's not working for you, just comment below and we'll get it figured out. Thanks, guys.